Hi everybody, this is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner and President of Falcon Wealth Planning. Today I want to talk to you about Medicare premiums and how they work because we all know at 65 years old you have to apply for Medicare. Now you can apply for Medicare if you're still working and not opt for Part B, but when you are retired and you need insurance, most people opt for Part B, which automatically gets Part C if you're doing the Medicare Healthcare Advantage program. That's where you can do your normal insurance, whether you have local carriers like Kaiser or you use big box places like United Healthcare, Anthem Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and so on. So if you want to take a look, Part B typically has and has a cost, and it's associated with the income that you make. So for example, if you're single or married, it could be roughly $90,000 adjusted gross income modified or $180,000 if you're married. It's slightly more than that, but just big round even numbers. So it matters on how much you make because your premiums can double, your premiums can triple. It can go over five, dollars $600 a month that gets taken from your Social Security if you're taking Social Security. Now, if you're not taking Social Security, and let's say you retire and at 65, you want to start taking Medicare, uh, but you haven't yet started taking Social Security. Let's assume you want to take it at 66, 67, or 70 years old. You have to pay for Medicare on a quarterly basis. You literally write a check to the Medicare. Now, you are also eligible for Medi gap policy. Now, they call those supplemental. So, for example, Part G, there's an additional cost for this. People call this the PPO plan. Up top, they call the HMO plan. Now this PPO plan doesn't matter how much you make, you can make $100 million a year and this payment on the supplemental is based on your age versus Medicare is based on your income. So Medicare Part B is income based. Now it doesn't matter if you have municipal bond interest, they add that back in. So it's based on your modified adjusted gross income, which means there are times it could make sense for you to save into a health savings account or save into an additional type of plan that can help you reduce your modified adjusted gross income. You could save into a different above the line deduction or other things like a small business can help reduce your modified adjusted gross income. Now here's the thing I see people make a mistake often and that is the year they retire. Now there are exemptions where let's say the year prior, now here's how it works, if in 2021 they base your whatever your income was in 2021 which you could have just finished that in October of 22, which is why they look back two years. Because if you file an extension, your taxes are due October 15th of the year after taxes. So 2021, you have to file by October of 2022, which is why it takes effect in 2023. So your premiums of 2023 are going to be based on what your income was in 2021. Now, let's just say there are some exemptions. It could be marriage. Maybe income was higher, divorce, death. Work stoppage, which means if you retire, if you went from making three hundred thousand a year, now a limited income of a hundred thousand dollars a year, assuming you're married, you could significantly reduce your Medicare premiums by thousands of dollars a year, folks. Work reduction as well, loss of income like on an income property, loss of income on a pension, and finally an employer settlement program. These are all reasons where you should file that exemption. This is why it makes sense to talk to a professional because listen. Let's just say you have millions of dollars, God bless you if you do. But still, this could save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a monthly basis. And if you're married, times that by two. This can add up for tens of thousands of dollars if not done and not planned properly. Folks, if you need help with this, please feel free to reach out to us below.